Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. That's my landline, so if you call me, leave me a message in your number. One should not cut it, and this is not my Christmas present. What this is, is a 1912 Edison opera. This is the coup d'etat of cylinder collections. This machine was $100 new. It is a completely sealed horn. The acoustics are outstanding. This has the best acoustic playing of any Edison cylinder player. It only plays four minutes. And yes, I know the lid does not match because when I got, we got the machine, it didn't have a lid and I paid a pretty printing for this lid. This is the opera. It is not belt driven, it is gear driven. It originally came with these wonderful little pins for these oiling caps from Edison. You have your speed control back here and the ID plate. This machine did not look like this when we got it. It was a total basket case. But when I saw it, I knew it had things. What it had was the automatic shutoff. So when you're going to play your record, you line this pin up with the end of the record. And this is the only one that the mandrel moves. The carriage moves on all the other Edison cylinder players. You know, you put it on, you drop it down, and the carriage goes, da -da. Now on this, the mandrel moves this way. So when you set up the thing, and you have it running, now it's running, it goes up and goes boop, shuts it off. It, this is cool stuff that, the, that they did. The reproducer came tiger striped. This one is in oak, and these are fairly rare. You always see operas in mahogany, but rarely do you see them in oak. What it has, are some really cool things. It has two flywheels on the motor. This is one flywheel. Okay? and the second flight. They're extremely impressive when you see them run. You can absolutely silent, gear driven, oil hole, oil hole, and an oil, just like the diamond discs. Quiet as anything. This is an Edison motor. Two springs, gear driven. Beautifully designed, aluminum pieces in here for speed control. Everything is well, really well done on these things. And what I mean about airtight this is just like, this is literally Edison's version of a credenza in a cylinder player. I, seriously. Also, the flywheels have two tensioner springs in them to keep it from fluxation in the uh, running of the machine.
She comes back on later with him in the song. They're beautiful machines. This horn hookup like this, with this little pin thing here, is like an Amberola A1. An Edison Amberola A1 was this same motor, except it was belt driven. When I restored this, because they're extremely sought after by collectors, I put in two new springs on the machine, and I put in some new bearings in it. These are wonderful machines. If you come across one and you have the money, you should grab one. They are expensive. You're looking probably $4,000 and up. When I got this 35 years ago, they were going for almost $8,000. I didn't pay $8,000, but that's another deal. This is a fun hobby. This is a machine to look at. These are wonderful machines. And if you're going to have one cylinder player, get an opera. And this is my tip for the day.